Okay, here we are in the attic, uh, a newer home outside of 1604. And the reason I'm here is because there are so many houses going up. And I decided to do a special on all of these new homes because they're building so many at a time. And it's easy when you get in a hurry, as everyone knows, to overlook things. And so the AC today, I want to give you a quick explanation of the AC, what it should be, what to look for for major problems that you can do yourself and save yourself a ton of money um, before hiring an inspector to come out. Now, the major thing I find with AC systems is that they're underperforming because they're not commissioned properly. And I want to take uh, a second of your time to show you how to check it and the major things to look for. Okay, here we go. So the first deal is that you want to test the AC system with a thermometer. Now this thermometer you can buy from Home Depot. It's a grill thermometer. Very simple. But what I want to point out is that you see that there are multiple holes in this plenum here. The multiple holes give you an indication that they have had a problem. They've tested it multiple times. Okay, you see three holes there. There's also a couple of holes, you know, three, four holes, uh, three or four holes over here. And And that's, this, is a sh this is just showing you that they've tested it multiple times, okay? So when I do the test, I, I put the thermometer in, okay? One here on the, on the supply side where the cool air is coming out. And then I stick one over here in the return side. There's only a 10 degree difference. 10 degrees. That means that this AC system is underperforming by 50%, okay? That's a super, super simple test for you to do on your own. Just get the grill thermometer and stick it in either side and subtract the difference. Super easy, okay? But this test will tell you, especially in this case, 50% underperforming means that if you don't catch it, you're gonna go for a year, maybe two years, maybe three years with a 50% underperforming AC system. It's gonna cost you $50, $75 extra to cool your house over three years per month. Oh my goodness, how much money is that? So just take this test, do it, it's two seconds. Just put it in, boop, boop, both sides, subtract the difference, and you're golden, okay? There's a couple more things I wanna show you. They're easy to find, easy to look for yourself. Let's take a look. Okay, drainage is such a big deal. And you see here that this drain line from the secondary, the secondary line is supposed to go into this pan, but guess what? It's gonna drain right outside this pan. You're gonna get wet decking, it's gonna be a mess. And see, this is the secondary line that comes from the AC system. So there's the primary right here. This is the one that gets clogged all the time and you have to put your vinegar in here, boop, boop, and um, clear out the drain. Well, this secondary, when this one gets clogged, this secondary is gonna, is gonna be used to drain the condensate into this pan here. And this pan, once it's full, it's gonna uh, raise this float right here and it'll shut off if this pan gets full. So make sure two things, one, that you have a secondary condensate line, okay? That's that second PVC pipe that drains into that pan. Number two, make sure that you have an emergency float switch. That's that little uh, tan piece uh, in the pan that will float up and shut off the system if there is too much water in it, okay? This will save you $1,000 having to redo all the drywall in the ceiling of your house. Okay, very simple. There's one more thing I wanna show you, pretty easy, and that is that this, uh, line here for the gas, not all systems have gas, uh, but this, this line should have a drip leg right here and it catches the sediment in the gas as it comes in, it catches the sediment, drains into here and it prolongs the life of the unit. The other thing is you wanna look at the exhaust and there's a, at least an inch around this whole thing here and that's good what you want. Okay, the main thing here is to make sure that you use that temperature test, go to Home Depot, grab one of those little $10 grill thermometers, stick it on each side, and you'll know right away 18 to 22 degrees is what it should be. If you're within that range, you're just fine. If it's outside of that range, it could be leaking or not commissioned properly, especially on a new home, and you want to contact your builder to get it resolved. Fidelity Home Inspection, going places that no one else goes to save you money. See you later.